Jenny Zhang and I'm a David Phillips Fellow at the Department of Chemistry. Um, my research is in the use of electrochemistry to study biological processes like photosynthesis. I'm in both the materials and the biological research interest group. I was born in China, but I grew up in uh, Australia, in a very quiet region called the Central Coast. And I was educated um, in the University of Sydney uh, during a Bachelor of Science degree. So this was a very similar degree to the Natsuki degree in Cambridge, where you get to try a lot of different subjects before you specialize. Um, and it was really good that I did this because after I left high school, I really didn't enjoy um, chemistry. But it was not until I was exposed to real uh, organic and inorganic chemistry that I was hooked. Uh, I also enjoyed a lot of other subjects like biochemistry and physics. So in the end, my, my research uh, projects have always been really interdisciplinary um, in my PhD, postdoc, and even in now my independent research group. Um, and I would say it's uh, more fun and enriching because of that. Throughout my career, um, I've been lucky enough to accrue uh, a wide range of amazing mentors, all of whom were really good at what they do, uh, always top of their fields. And what was really inspiring for me was that they were all really different. So they had very different life stories, uh, career paths, and it just told me, it showed me that it's completely fine to be different, to make your own path and um, set your own goals. And it gave me the confidence to do the work that I, I love and the way that I, I want to do it. So that's what I'm doing now. My current research uh, investigates into energy and electron transfer, mainly at the interface of the natural and synthetic world. So in particular, right now, we're really um, fascinated by photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is this incredible process um, performed mainly by plants and some aqua, uh, aquatic microorganisms. Uh, they're able to take up common um, abundant chemicals and materials like water, CO2 from air and turn them into complex products like food, you know, biomass, fuels, fertilizer, pharmaceuticals, um, all using or powered by sunlight. So not only that, it also plays important roles in, in maintaining and even repairing our climate. So there's still a lot to learn about this process, especially um, how energy and, and electrons move around in the photosynthetic electron transfer chain. So understanding this process more will help us to control and redirect the flow of energy or electrons to, for example, increase the yields of um, chemical or fuel production, uh, or even to harvest the, the electrons for use as electricity. So to be effective in, in this and doing this, we have to make our own electrodes. So we, we develop our own 3D electrodes so that we can harvest or deliver as many of electrons, um, as many electrons um, to and from these bioenergetic pathways as possible. So what this involves is that we have to explore many um, cutting edge techniques for electrofabrication. So for example, Aerojet 3D printing. And also we um, use electrochemistry in very creative ways to characterize these new bioelectrodes. What really motivates me right now, aside from the science, is that, well, our approach to research is very interdisciplinary, which means that it's very collaborative and we team up with amazing scientists um, who are top of their fields to produce new exciting knowledge. So, for example, we have theoreticians who are doing modeling of our bioelectrode interface um, and also Physicists were using ultra-fast um, spectroscopy to track energy and charge movements within living cells. So it's all a very exciting place to be in and it's an amazing feeling when you are at the forefront of discovery like this. So advice to um, my younger self or, or to, I guess, other younger people, I would say that not all advice is one size fits all. You have, so you have to be careful. And what that means is that you have to know yourself. So that means um, at the stage that you're at, go and develop yourself more. Education doesn't stop 
the end of lectures or exams, keep learning. Go do something um, different. Go challenge yourself and push yourself outside of your comfort zone. So trying things that are a little bit scary. So for example, taking up a leadership role or going and doing a public um, doing some public speaking or um, you know changing a field or going to a field you've never done gone in before and you don't seem to have background it's all daunting and scary but just be brave and do it anyway you get lots out of it